Hello everybody. I always want to say nice to see you, but I can't see you, but nice that you're watching and hope you continue to. Um, I wanted to tell you about a dream I had a couple of nights ago, and I'm not going to bore you with it. I can't remember half of it, but I just felt it was relevant to faith. So all I remember really was I had this really strong certainty within that um, whatever I was imagining for, and I, I don't know what it was, but it was something to do with Neville Goddard's teachings. And I was absolutely sure that I had complete faith and whatever I was imagining for was going to happen, just this dead certainty. And it was fantastic. And it, I really felt it like a tangible feeling within, something very solid and sure and knowing. And then I turned to my friend and I felt that he was feeling faith on a superficial level and he wasn't completely sure. And in that moment, I knew that he was not going to the same place that I was going to, that our destinations were different. And I felt sad and disappointed, but I couldn't take him with me. And I woke up just feeling, well, that's how it is, isn't it? If you don't have complete faith in what you're imagining for, you're not going to go there. And I think I dreamt that because I was talking about something similar in a, a video clip a few days before and it came into my dream. But I really got the feeling of, of how it felt to have complete faith. So that was really good. And I wondered whether I'd taken it into my dream and I was in the correct state. It felt positive anyway. So it just made me think, well, do a clip, a short clip about faith and how important it is to contemplate the power that you have within you. Because without complete and utter faith in what you're imagining for, you can't manifest it. If you don't trust in the power within you and you don't know, know on a very deep level that it's definitely going to happen, it just won't happen. I, I felt that in the dream. It's like in dreams you can you just get a really strong sense of feelings, I think. That was what was coming across. So, I urge you to read Neville Goddard's books, read the Bible, what it says about God, um, contemplate God, contemplate the source that lives within you, your consciousness, your imagination, the power, the wisdom and really develop a love for it, a familiarity with it, and that sureness that it does exist, it lives within you, he lives within you, and all things are possible to those who believe. So if you believe, everything's possible, and um, that's the truth. But it takes time to really allow it to permeate into you till it's there's no shadow of a doubt. And there's me talking, but um, things haven't happened for me yet. Some things have, but not massive things really. But I, I trust in my faith and I just know it's going to happen. I, I definitely feel I've got faith. So I just think it's time. That's all. When it happens, it happens. So I thought I'd read you something from Neville Goddard's book, The Power of Awareness. Um, just one long paragraph from faith. And already it's starting to get dark. I thought I'll try and um, do this clip while there's a bit of light straight after school um, because maybe the quality will be a bit better. So sorry, it's not going to be good again. Um, and I can't even read the words. So I'm just going to try. Oh, I can now. Right. Um, the, the Bible um, scripture for faith, the main scripture that I find really helpful is from... Hebrews and it's chapter 11 verse 1, the book of Hebrews. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that gives me a sense of um, faith being a tangible thing when it talks of faith being a substance and 
and that really helps me just the idea of of something out there like something that you're 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 giving it out but it actually exists in a way independently i mean it's it doesn't exist independently of you but that's the feeling i get from it and it's just i put my trust in it and the thing that i'm imagining for starts to manifest from the invisible it's already there creation is finished it's just about me drawing it out from the invisible through my faith that it exists and and loyalty loyalty to faith um just keep persisting in it don't give up anyway this is what neville goddard says the re the very reason for the law of assumption I might have to go and get my glasses i can't read it there's not enough light anyway um the very reason for the law of assumption is contained in this quotation the one that i just read if there were not a deep-seated awareness that that which you hope for had substance and was possible of attainment it would not it would be possible to assume the consciousness of being or having it oh i've gone and read it wrong i'm sorry it was like it would not it would be impossible I'm just going to try and persist without my glasses. I have faith I can read this. So, it would be impossible to assume the consciousness of being or having it. It is the fact that creation is finished and everything exists that stirs you to hope. And hope in turn implies expectation. And without expectation of success, it would be impossible to use consciously the law of assumption. Evidence is a sign of actuality. Thus, the quotation means that faith is the awareness of the reality of that which you assume. I'll come back to that, it's a good one. Consequently, it is obvious that a lack of faith means disbelief in the existence of that which you desire, inasmuch as that which you experience is the faithful reproduction of your state of consciousness. Lack of faith will mean perpetual failure in any conscious use of the law of assumption. So that's what I was just talking about, that without faith it's impossible to succeed. And that's what he's saying there. Lack of faith will mean perpetual failure in any conscious use of the law of assumption. So it's so important to develop faith. Spend time developing that every single day if you really want this to work. And the other thing that really struck me from this is um, faith is the awareness of the reality of that which you assume the awareness of the reality of that which you assume. Awareness that it actually exists. It already exists. That's quite amazing. And you're touching into that, into that feeling. So you know it's there. You're aware of it already. So that's how real it is to you. That's how real. So it's it's really contemplating faith, contemplating what the Bible says. These key um, verses of scripture are so important because when you do read them and you read them with um, just meditating on them and contemplating them the, the words come alive in you the words are alive they're feeding your your mind and your soul and it starts to grow in you it's like a seed this is my experience anyway and um, it really helps to develop your face so I urge you to read. I mean, I could do that, actually. I could find um, key verses of scripture. Um, I know I know a lot of you wouldn't want to read a lot of the Bible, um, and you, you probably don't have much time, but um, if you just um, focus on maybe Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, and just think, what does that mean? And just like chew on it, digest it. And that will really um, help to bring it alive. 
Um, so the next thing I wanted to speak about was, I think I'm going to have to turn the light on because it's really getting dark now, isn't it? And I've got to put this screen up to try and reflect off the light. But it goes dark so quickly, it really does. Okay, so I'm going to have to just go around here, sorry. <sighs> Here I come. Okay, so that's made a bit of difference. <laughs> just leap over the sofa there. Now, um, I just wrote a few notes down because I always forget things. Um, so yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking today about um, the invisible, the idea of everything comes from the invisible, um, and that we we generally see things as either being created from the external or from the internal. So external being uh, the material world or internal meaning that you believe everything comes from the imagination. But actually it's just a concept for us to try and understand um, that things either come from <laughs> the uh, material world or from something that we can't really express in words. It's um, it's beyond all concepts, but if we say internal, we get a sense of what that means. But is it really, are we really creating from within ourselves, or does it just look like that? I mean, if God is everywhere, and the source is um, manifesting everything in the world, then we're in it right now, and it's in us, and it's, it's just everywhere and maybe things aren't exactly as they seem well they're, they're definitely not are they but it's easy for us to think oh it's in here in my brain and I think and my imagination's in here this area and then uh these things are coming out and there you can touch them yeah that's how it is but maybe it's a bit um more beyond our understanding than that so I just believe that we're, we're all coming from the dreamer, which is God. He's dreaming us up. And, um, and I get a sense, a sense of things sometimes, especially when I listen to Neville Goddard. It's like flashes. But um, I think while I'm wearing this body on this earth, I'm never going to, um, I'm never going to see the whole picture. None of us will, as much as we long to. It's, it's when um, we're free, when we're free from this mortal coil that we will see things as they truly are. Until then, I think it's important to have an open mind. And um, it works. We don't need to understand totally how it works, but we just need to create, and use our imagination consciously to create. So, um, just do it. All right, just do it, just do it. So four things. Um, number one, faith in the power within you. Develop that, contemplate that. Read Neville Goddard's books, listen to his teachings, read a uh, key scripture in the Bible. Just really develop an unshakable faith in the power that is within you because that's what's gonna make it work. So develop your faith. Without that, you can't do anything. Um, number two, visualize a scene that implies that your desire has come true in the future. So something, not, not the moment that it happens, but something that implies that you have manifested what you always wanted to have. Um, short scene, keep it simple, and the feeling that arises from that is something to really um just contemplate meditate become friends with carry it around with you throughout the day because that's the feeling that's telling you you are you are that person that you want to be and the feeling will um will get you there the feeling will make you become that person i can't put it in words but it brings the state to you and um, number three, um, from the feeling, words will be born. Um, 
Because once you start to feel that you are that person that you want to be, that you have the thing you want to be, you will start to be thinking in line with that. And um, you should do it anyway. Thinking words of I am, um, because I am is the name of God in the Bible. I am successful. I am happy. I am whole. I am everything that I always wanted to be. Um, and present tense, you know, you can use I am, but you can use I have as well. Um, I mentioned um, a really good, a really good, what I call a mantra, and uh, Neville Goddard had spoken of it before. Um, it was something that a man called Dr. Millikan um, created, and he said it over and over again. I believe it was a whole day, he just locked himself in his room, said it over and over again. And he became a great scientist, and he was a very rich man. But the main thing is he gave back to the world. He did so many good things. And his, um, his words were these. It was, um, I have a lavish, steady, dependable income, consistent with integrity and mutual benefit. It's great. I love that because it's got everything in it. I have a lavish, steady, dependable income, consistent with integrity and mutual benefit. And that came true for him. And a little tip of how to remember it is LSD. I'm not advocating LSD, but lavish, steady, dependable. That's how I remember it anyway. So three is words and then four is assumption. So once you've done all that, you've got the feeling you visualized it, you're thinking words every day, you know, that you are that person, um, imagining from that state all the things you're going to do. And then you're just assuming it's done. It's done. You know, I know it's done beyond a shadow of a doubt in the future. And it's just that relaxed feeling that goes with it. You just know, going back to the feeling of knowing. So, um, yeah. I think that's um, the main points, really. So I hope that helps. Um, faith is the main thing, though. You could be saying the words, and there could just be a hollow feeling to it. And um, you could be visualizing, but you're not really feeling it. And you've got doubt. Um, doubt is the killer of faith. So don't doubt it. Um, you've just got to believe, no matter what objective reality throws at you. No matter how things look, don't believe it. Deal with it. It's something that's manifested. You've got to deal with it because we're living in this world, this material world, so we can't ignore it. But give it a light touch. Um, remember, nothing stays the same. Nothing does. Everything is always changing, even though it seems that it's always the same and and yeah, things are very solid and unchangeable. Everything is always changing, so cling on to that. Even though I've told you, don't cling. <laughs> don't grasp onto things. Um, just, um, it's all about relaxing and um, having faith, I think. So relax, have faith, and um, whatever you are imagining for has already happened, okay? Just think, it's done. It's done. I've done it. All I have to do is relax and assume and just keep meditating on the power within me that's so amazingly wonderful and aren't I lucky, aren't I fortunate, aren't I blessed? Say, I am massively blessed. <laughs> I am massively blessed. When someone says to you, how are you feeling today? Say, massively blessed and see what they do. <laughs> I dare you. So, um, right, hope that helped. Um, really appreciate all your comments. And um, I'm going to start writing something soon and put it out there and keep doing clips. I am writing down any suggestions of clips you want and I will include your ideas. They're always good. Um, so take care, all the best, and thanks for watching till the end. Bye.